Hello YouTube family, this is Al. Welcome back to the channel and I hope everyone is doing well. So I'm going to show you how to set up a communal or my terminology, a residential dorm. Now that is shared housing. So you need to have a common area, which you can see this is the common area where they can sit and watch TV. And we're going to walk through the house. So this is your dining area, another dining room area where they can eat. All of this is shared living space. I call it residential dorms. Other people call it communal, but my new definition is residential dorms. So now we have the kitchen. And also you have an area where they can eat. And you have the stove, you have your microwave. This is just a area where you have a sink. And you have your bathroom where they share the bathroom. You have laundry. And here you have another area where they can watch TV and you have another bathroom and let me let you see a bedroom so this is your typical bedroom setup you're gonna have two beds per room Everyone has a nightstand and you have closet space and their dresser drawers. So you have a place for each person to store their clothes. Again, this is the setup of a residential dorm. So they will share the bedroom. And we'll go back around So this is a residential dorm. You can charge anywhere from 800 to a thousand dollars plus per bed. So here I have four beds. So it's possible to bring anywhere up to 4,000 plus per month, just renting and out each bed in a shared space. So this is a walkthrough of a residential dorm where they share the living space, the bathroom, the kitchen area. And we have two individuals living per bedroom for cabinet space in your kitchen, you can have individual space for each individual so they can store their items in the kitchen area. So they can have designated space in the kitchen to store their food or groceries. This is a tour of a residential dorm and I'm gonna give you another tip. I call it forever furniture. Now, if you're gonna have common or shared living space, you need to purchase everlasting furniture. Meaning that it will Weather the storms of wear and tear from different renters who will rent from you. And I'm going to share with you where I get my furniture from. It is solid wood. It's called Forever Furniture. 
and I recommend if you're going to set up a residential dorm that you purchase this kind of furniture. So in the description box of the video, I will have a link to the company that I purchased my furniture from. So again, this has been a video on a residential dorm. I took you through a tour of how to set up a residential dorm. If you found this information helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Again, this is L. Until the next video, you take care, and I will talk to you soon.